Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, convert your uh, manual switch, um, switch number one, switch number two, into the uh, our, um, ZWN RSM2 Z Way uh, dual relay. So, um, before you do anything, so just to be on the safe side, turn off your power at the circuit breaker and then identify all your uh, wires before you proceed. So a typical uh, single pole switch, you're going to have two, ter two terminals, the top and bottom terminals. Uh, the wiring color depend on uh, not necessary, you know, what it is supposed to be. So always uh, test the wire for currents and figure out which one is your line, which one is your load. So for this uh, simple process, uh, I have everything um, uh, categorized. So your top one is your your line, and the bottom one is your load. So that way, so you can easier to see. I'm gonna go ahead and put some black tape, electrical tapes on here, for you guys to see later um, when I finish the uh, um, wiring. So go ahead. If you at home and you don't have electrical tape, just uh, write it out on a piece of paper. To make sure because once you have everything disassembled you're gonna have a bunch of wire you're not gonna know which one is the line which one is the load so um, so once you have everything set go ahead and remove the two switches but once you remove your two switches um, your two hot right here if you actually look further inside the box you're gonna see a um, they're gonna tie together with a, a, a cap so this is mainly your hot and it's, it's split down to two lines for your, your uh, two switches. Okay. And then this is uh, your load. For the relay, um, you will need to uh, have a neutral. Uh, normally the neutrals are in the back of your junction box. So you will have to actually go look further in the box. And sometimes they're tucked in and high back there. You just need to pull it out, uh, your neutral. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to wire uh, the relay with your existing uh, switches. First thing first is you need to uh, provide power for the relay. So this is your power. This is the power is already off so I'm very comfortable doing it. So make sure the power is off. So when you have the power for the relay, now you need to provide neutral. Okay, so now I have power to the relay and neutral to the relay. And then I have the two load, which is the two black tape that I uh, used earlier. Or you, if you mark it somehow, and then the two hot right here. So we're gonna go ahead and reconnect uh, the uh, wire back to the uh, your switch number one. Um, on the relay, it has a low one and low two, same as the auxiliary one, auxiliary two. Just make sure you use the same one. If you're gonna use low one, make sure you use auxiliary one. If you're gonna use low two, use like those two for each of the switch. So <clears throat> again, you the hot on the uh, old switch. Go ahead and then put it back to the uh, uh, your manual switch. Okay, I'm gonna use low number one on my uh, switch, so I'm calling it uh, left switch low number one. So if you can locate the low number one wire, the red wire, okay? And then what you need to do is you need to uh, use the cap and then cap, use the, the, the cap to twist the two uh, low together. Let me go ahead and remove this black tape out. Okay, so you, you finish wiring the low uh, from the relay to your fixture the low wire. The next step is to get the aux cable, aux number one, to the uh, back to the original uh, uh, low wire that was, was the, on the switch before. So the aux cable will go into that place. Okay, there you go. You just finished uh, wiring with low number one to switch one. Now let's go ahead and wire uh, low number two to switch number two. Okay, again, your, uh, your line for your old switch. Now locate the uh, low number two on the relay. And then connect that with your uh, 
low on the uh, the uh, second switch. And also your auxiliary cable. Make sure you put that that on the manual switch itself. Okay, there you have it. Your two manual switch with the uh, RSM2 dual relay. So before you uh, put everything back in the box, uh, go ahead and uh, energize the breaker um, to test out the manual switch on off. To make sure the low turn on and off. And then also um, pair the device with your hub. So after you have uh, energized the uh, relay, it is best to exclude the device first, even though it's not even paired uh, for the first time, but it is recommended. Go ahead and go through the uh, apps, uh, the hubs uh, menu to exclude general device exclusion on SmartThings. And then once the uh, device shows up, has been looking, go ahead and press the buttons on the device itself. Uh, this is the... Um, pairing buttons right here. Just go ahead and push and release once. So once the uh, hub detect the device and has been removed successfully, go ahead and click done. And then go back to the main menu. And then from here, you can go ahead and add new things. Once you click on add new things, the hub is in the pairing mode. And once again, go ahead and press the buttons on the relay. Let's go ahead and push and release once. There we go. The uh, Z-Way device multi-channel has been detected. Go ahead and tap on it if you want to rename. If not, then go ahead and click done. Save. And then click done once again. So this is the device that we recently added. Uh, go ahead and tap on it. So right now, it only shows up as one uh, relay. Um, but the uh, RSM2 is a dual relay. The reason why is a multi-channel uh, was not added, so you need to go back to the main menu. Um, on the bottom right hand corner uh, of the screen, hit on Marketplace. And then click on Smart Apps, and then scroll down and hit More. And from here, just scroll all the way up until you see multi-channel right there by SmartThing. Tap on that. And then the device tap to set. This is uh, where you would select the device that you recently just paired, which is the uh, Z-Way device multi-channel. Select on that. Click done. Once it's done, click on my home. There is your Z-Way device multi-channel, and you're gonna see switch point one and switch point two. Um, those for the uh, relay itself, relay one and relay two. Um, you can go ahead and rename them any way you want them, but that is how multi-channels uh, relay uh, shows up in SmartThing. Thank you.